what's up guys sean back with another video and i survived the one chip challenge for you guys yesterday a lot of you were actually freaking mad at me for even trying it because of like the weight loss surgery in my stomach like trust me i was all good i mean it burned like hell and i might have thought i wasn't going to make it for a minute but also i took too many damn tums and now i haven't gone to the bathroom yet so i'm thinking that if it burns that way down there I'm going to have to try that dairy ice cream down in that area. And I really don't want to do that. I'm not into turning my crack into an ice cream sandwich or anything. Maybe that's oversharing. I don't know. But anyways, back to friggin' scam fish, baby. I love this stuff, man. And also, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I am now in a relationship with Katy Perry. And it's definitely not a Nigerian prince or anything. It's definitely Katy Perry. And they're definitely gonna send me feet pics just as soon as I send them a steam gift card and then they're gonna send me the concert tickets but you have to read that conversation on my Instagram it's friggin hilarious but let's see who this woman's dating what celebrity did she catch he has a really good personality I was uh, living like a queen what friggin celebrity is this this guy looks like from friggin Chris Hansen's episode or whatever like that's where I would see him. You can stop working and I will treat you like a queen. I was trusting this guy because I was already felt in love with. I was a fan, but now I'm I'm more than a fan. See, he just pop up. A fan of what? What show was this guy on? Like, the, I really do think the only place I saw him was either that or Jerry Springer. Maybe he was on Steve Wilkos, I don't know. Now he wants to, to, to have a chat with me. The chances of you being messaged on the internet by a celebrity is almost slim to none. How dare you, friggin' Katy Perry messaged me, and apparently I look like one of her old friends, and I, what else? I'm also very friendly, I'm the cutest guy on earth, and we're in love. That's what Katy Perry said. I trust Katy Perry. What's up, Seekers? Welcome back to another episode of Scamfish presented by SocialCatfish.com. I sent to Bernard Henry Vasquez in U.S. currency hundred more than hundred fifteen thousand. Oh shit, lady. I just passed 10,000 subscribers, so technically that makes me a celebrity. Can I have some money, please? Dollars. On today's episode, we'll speak to a woman named Franz who fell head over heels for a man who claimed he was a social media manager. This man, Bernard, swept her off her feet, promising to introduce her to her favorite celebrity. The conversations got intimate, and so did her pockets. Who do we think her favorite celebrity is? I'm gonna guess George Clooney. As she ended up spending over $100,000 on this virtual love affair. Franz is optimistic about finally meeting her celebrity crush, but wants to know the truth about Bernard. Real quick guys, don't forget to like Bernard, you dirty no good. Comment and subscribe. Your comment and like could yeah, help stop someone from being scammed. Or it could just help me in the algorithm. I'm not going to actually help anybody, but it's going to help me. So do it. Let's get into it. So my name is Franz Martineau. I'm an executive director for a French learning center in Canada, Ontario. No shot. You're the director at a learning center and you think you're dating a celebrity. I trust no one in your care. I have one kid. Uh, my daughter, Sonia. She's 46 years old already. That makes me old. <laughs> Franz is currently married and is going through a rough patch with her husband, Maurice. I was living come in law with... She kind of reminds me of the little old lady next door who just stopped me when I was going to the store. She always tries to invite me to Bible study because she's trying to save my soul or something. And her husband, like every time I like see her or I talk to her, she always says, Honey! The young man next door is here. I'm going to keep him. That's what she always says. And she's always, her husband's like, I don't give a damn. He's just this funny old man. But she's like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm going to get my uh, lottery numbers. I'm sinning. And she's like, me too, sweetie. With Maurice. 
he got cancer and his personality changed. So Aww. I have no more romance with him. We are like a brother and sister. I still living with this guy because we have a house together. Uh, since 20 years we live together. Wait, is this her husband? Or are they just roommates at this point? Because y'all better not let the fire go out. How many of these old ladies are going to think that they're friggin' like falling in love with some 20 year old man that's just hung like Mandingo and he's going to come there and blow their back out or something? Like, what is going on? Probably it's time to move on, France. Uh, you're getting old and you need love. You know, it's, it's not living with, you know, a guy and just be like, kind of your brother so that's why i was uh, looking i was not going on dating site i was scared a little bit france was aware of scammers and heard a lot of negative things about dating sites well, yeah i mean everybody goes on friggin dating sites now that's like the way to date now it's kind of weird I don't think hardly anyone meets in friggin' person anymore to keep it real while contemplating opening a dating profile oh son she was of a browsing it ain't George Clooney. Johnny, Johnny Depp. Yeah, of course. It's friggin' Captain Jack Sparrow. Who would have thought that this is the guy? Je what? Facebook, and she stumbled across her favorite actor's fan page. In this interview, Franz insisted that oh she my did God. not really share the celebrity's name in fear of spoiling their relationship. Oh my God, France! What are you doing? She wants Wonka's Willy. <laughs> I don't know if I can say the name of this actor, but I just click on one and uh, it comes up. Uh, a messenger was asking me if you want more news about this person. Click on a messenger. So that oh my God, I can't believe she wants to see Johnny go deep. <laughs> that's what I did. Can you tell me more about why you are a fan of me and blah, 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 blah? Franz was cautious about being messaged by the celebrity. She instantly wondered who was behind this profile. So, I mean, that's what I thought. And then I realized, of course, Katy Perry's reaching out to me. I'm a sexy piece of man meat. Why wouldn't she? She messaged back to investigate. So I asked that guy, I said, okay, give me, give me your name, your real name. He agreed to give me uh, his name and he says he was working for this actor and I worked for this agency to Oh my god, of course he works for Jack Sparrow. Like everybody does, right? You know, she could have saved a lot of friggin' money. I guarantee that there is something out there called the Black Pearl for ladies. And I guarantee it's a hell of a lot cheaper than dating, like dating Johnny Depp. Talk to his fan and pretending I'm him. This is where it all began. The man behind this celebrity profile was a man by the name of Bernard. He sent a photo of himself and claimed he was a social media manager who ran various social media accounts for celebs. After chatting a little more, the two shared... Of course, that definitely looks like the guy that's managing managing Johnny. You know, maybe Amber Heard. He can manage her. Man, I freaking hate her. That trial was so tragic. Like everywhere I went for like a month. If you went to like say you went to get coffee or something, right? They would have a tip jar. One would say Johnny. One would say Amber. And Amber's would be friggin' empty. Like everybody hates that woman. Shared a lot of similar interests. And Bernard would even go on to message Franz from his real account. It didn't take long for him to no sweep way. Franz off her feet. He has a really good personality. It's our activities too. We like traveling. I like to travel. I got a friggin' heart of gold. Can I have money? Please? <laughs> and when he find out I have a travel trailer and at a campsite, oh, he says don't. Don't sell it, Franz, because we're oh. going to bring it in California. We will yeah, don't sell it. I just need you to sign the deed over to me real quick, or the title, I mean. And then uh, I'll give it to Johnny as a gift, and he can write it off on his taxes. And then you'll get all this money back in the trailer. I promise, 100% not a scam. We'll go camping together. He was calling me every single day. And between that, chat 
he was texting me. Can oh I call you babe or sweetie or all those kind of small cute. Look, I call you sugar pie honey bun. Like how much money can I have? <laughs> nickname. I liked him. I, I, I like his accent because he's a Spanish guy. Eh? Six foot one tall. Yeah, I can do that. Look, hey, papi chulo. Has a white hair and his beard is white too. Damn, uh, I'm out. Good looking guys. Very, very gentleman. Very polite. This guy online was a totally different guy. Uh, I was sure that was the guy I... Soulmate? You've never friggin' met. As far as you know, this guy's Johnny Depp's manager which I'm not sure how exactly you would ever buy that. This guy's sitting here in like a friggin' t-shirt. It's not like he's wearing a suit, he's at an agency or anything like that. This man really does look like somebody off to catch a predator. I need in my life because he was doing, he was a gentleman, uh, was taking care of me kind of online. You know, if I was sick, uh, he was asking all the time if I'm right, if I'm taking this and that. Totally different. Why, why is it so easy? They just find like a lonely older woman and they're like, oh, you're sick. And then they order like on Amazon, like a $5 thing of NyQuil. He's got a heart of friggin' gold, guys. Well, he's going to El Dorado with me. Different with the guy I used to live with. The guys I used to live with, they just think about themselves. They were thinking what France can give to them and him it was the opposite way so that's why i was attracted to him look lady like i haven't heard what you've given this other guy either that you're living with at this point it seems like you're just in a mutually beneficial like kind of relationship the fire's gone out and ain't nobody sending any smoke signals to get back together i don't know maybe you guys do play stinky twinky once in a while but Bernard's about to take every cent you got. So you're better off with a roommate. I'm just saying, go buy yourself a black pearl. You've got it. And after that, uh, he was asking me uh, to go a little bit more further. He says, France, I like your personality. You are a good person. And uh, I try to find a woman like you. It doesn't take advantage of anyone at all. So... He says, I want a really serious relationship. I always find it amazing because they're not even like rig really friggin' smooth talkers. Like I've been accused of being the smooth talker more than a few times in my life. But these guys just say serious relationship, my queen, I love you, and bam, let the floodgates open. These women are ready to go. So yes, uh, at the end, uh, we were saying we love each other. My queen course and he was telling me france i'm gonna make you so happy if you don't want to work for me you don't have to work i'm i'm a millionaire of course this guy's friggin rolling in it he works for johnny Depp. we can you can stop working and i will treat you like a queen that's a fourth time so yes queen. i fell in love after a few weeks, the conversation shifted to starting a life together. Bernard was promising the world to Franz, and social media management wasn't his only means of income. He told Franz about all the money he made through Bitcoin and wanted to help her. Of course, the friggin' Bitcoin hustle, man. Why? Why do people always believe this? Yeah, you can meet Johnny, of course. Uh... Uh, all you have to do is buy me a couple Home Depot gift cards. I'm going to need one to the Outback Steakhouse. And then while you're at it, throw in an Amazon gift card. And then you're almost to Johnny. Almost there. We're going to get caught at the airport. I'm going to need you to pay our ransom because Liam Neeson kidnapped us. The shit's unreal. Start making money too. Well, he says, Franz, I have lots of money you don't know. But I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm a millionaire. At the start, he says, I, I need to trust you before we do a little bit more further. He says, France, are you going to work for me on my Bitcoins agency? Oh, 
so now you've become a middleman, right? So now he's going to send you money from other people and you're doing some kind of illegal activity. And you didn't think to check into this at all. Like, you're the, you're the fall guy at this point. He said, you're going to make some transfer for me? I'm going to give you all my uh, information about my bank account, password. You will do some few transactions so I will know if I can trust you 100%. So I did uh, two transaction with them, uh, with them, transferring a few thousand bucks to uh, uh, some people who need some money to buy tools for the company. Did they buy them on gift cards? Because friends, you are looking like a whole nother level of slow right now. And at least before, like when we watched it, it was the peen queen. Like I knew she was dumb. You're supposed to work at a damn learning center or something. You're supposed to be a smart lady. So I, I, I had faith in you. And then you turned into the gift card hustling Bitcoin queen. After having to work her entire life, Franz loved the idea of being with someone who wanted to take care of her. She logged into Bernard's account and something terrible happened. But what? one day for the third, uh, third transaction, I was running out of time to come back to work. So I said, okay, I'm gonna do that in my office. And I use my own computer. And suddenly the transaction didn't go through. The bank uh, frees me up telling me. Oh my God. You think this, that this was set up because now that the bank account's frozen, of course he's gonna ask you for money, right? But he don't need it. He's a millionaire. You think millionaires have all their eggs in one basket or they can't pay their own taxes? But no, they've got money. Schmeckles, dinero. Me, I was prodding. And the bank uh, sent me an email that uh, to unfroze the, the bank account, he needs to send $8,366. Oh my God. I gotta be careful, bro. There's still spicy stuff on this table somewhere. $8,366. Really? This guy is, he works for friggin' Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp pisses $8,366. Like, come on. Uh, so I, he says, uh, Franz, how, how could I do a transfer? My bank just froze my account. How am I supposed to do that? So feeling guilty, I said, okay, I'm gonna send the money. Come on, friends, you at least get like a good looking man. This is damn Bernard. Like if it was Johnny and Johnny needed money, I might send him that. That's a sexy man. Bernard? I'm not going for Bernard. Says, don't worry, I'm gonna pay you every penny you're gonna send to. After Bernard's bank account was frozen, it left Franz feeling guilty. She paid the $8,000 in taxes, but the fees didn't stop there. Uh, he says which... Oh, shit, because once they got you on the hook, they need more, right? Now, see, what I need to do is I need to buy Katy Perry a Steam card, and then she said I can buy up to three concert tickets, but she's also going to let me do some crazy things with her feet, and she said she's going to let me let her hit the high note backstage... And she said that I could bring a friend to watch because I told her I had a friend that was into that. But man, Katy Perry's a wild one. I bet you guys didn't know that. Your currency, that will be about uh, 26,600 Canadian. So I said, let me think about it, please. Took me about a few days. I sent again the money by crypto. When he got all the money, he was still in uh, Ireland. <laughs> Somebody messaged me from Ireland. They were like, oh, Sean, Sean Patrick, that's a good Irish name. It's better than me name. Nah, he didn't say it that way. That's probably me butchering an Irish accent. But my name is Sean Patrick. So, bro, Bernard, how much money do you think he's going to get in the long run? Didn't she say it was like 100K? Mm. Franz sent even more money after sending an additional $26,000. No amount of money was going to get in between meeting her true love in person. Oh man, Franz is a damn horn dog. Not only does she want Bernard, she wants Johnny. She's all in for Willy's Wonka. She's gonna ride that black pearl. I sent to 
Bernard Henry Vasquez in U.S. currency, hundred more than hundred fifteen thousand oh. dollars. The last. Oh, I managed Channing Tatum. I managed George Clooney. I managed Idris Il. What's his name? Alba. What's his name? I don't know. I'm terrible with names. I just throw a couple celebrities out there. But if you would like to bang any of them, it'll cost you like 200k. I'll take it in um, Outback Steakhouse gift cards. Time uh, I had <laughs> contact with him, it was in January this year. He says, "Okay, I'm going to meet you on January in Thunder Bay." He showed he, he knew sometimes I was suspicious, and I told him, "Okay, show me your plane ticket." I definitely sent Katy Perry a picture of a Steam gift card that I googled that was already scratched off. And that was one mad Nigerian prince. He was showing me his flight tickets. Thunder Bay, January 14. He's going to be in the airport at 11 p.m. And uh, the next day, uh, me and my daughter went to uh, the airport. And waiting for him. Let me guess. He never showed up. He was actually kidnapped by Pablo Escobar. And obviously he never showed up. Who's this Jack Weasel? I text his son, Michael, to ask him what's going on. And Michael says, well, France, I don't know. My dad was supposed to meeting you. You guys think he's in on it? Or do you think his dad just gave him like... A thousand dollars to be like, tell this crazy woman that me and Johnny Depp are on our way. <laughs> I put the, the authorities of a search on my dad. I'm a kind of big concern and anxious of what's going on. France didn't want to give up the celebrity's name. She was still holding on to meeting her crush in person. Remember, this whole thing stemmed from her eventually meeting her celebrity crush through Bernard after he claimed to be his social media manager. Bruh, I feel like at this point, the people just feel like they're so far in, there's nothing they can do. They just gotta keep friggin' going, or else they just wasted 90k, so what's a little extra 10,000, right? You can never cut your losses once you're that far in, that's like typical gambling addict activity. She's just gambling on somebody's Peter instead. Well, it turns out she eventually did get in contact with her favorite celeb. Really? I'm just going to come out and say it. Franz thinks she's also dating Johnny Depp. This horn dog's getting with everybody. Damn, who else, Franz? You get around. Somebody put a little extra Ben Gay on today. Um, I don't know what's going on with these Johnny Depp cases. I've, got, I've been getting tons of them a week. Um, it's got, something's going on. I don't know. So, so it doesn't help the case, but basically what's been happening is um, he's hiding out in the UK and he's saying, I love that I'm in this quiet environment. People are not coming up to me, harassing me. Um, he had this monster case that everybody knows about. Bro, the Amber Heard case, case was like friggin' nuts. She looks so bad in that case. Everybody came out and just trashed Johnny. Everyone hated him. And then the case goes on and she looks like a total friggin' jag off. What happens with these scams is these people will go and follow these fan pages. The other case, it was a Discord, but essentially the same thing. And these scammers sit there and they go collect all the people who go and follow and then they randomly reach out to them. And so that's exactly what's happening here. Um, but Drew, you said that she, this was like a, oh, by the way, or don't you know? Yeah, so at the end of her video, we have this hour long uh, interview about her being in a relationship with Johnny Depp's social media manager. Bernard does not have the everlasting gobstopper. I'll just let you know that right now. Bernard's probably gonna need something to get even close to semi-lasting, but Somebody got mad at me for all the sexual euphemisms I give. I'm a friggin' man. Like, I could think of 50 ways to say making the beast with two backs in like 10 seconds. It's not hard for me. I could sit here. Also, I think I have a friggin' skill where I can make anything sound dirty. Like, watch this. Betty Crocker. Told you. Sounds dirty if I say it. Nobody else it does. Then at the end, she hits me with, 
I'm also talking to Johnny Depp. Depp is Depp. Two P's. There are two P's. There's no T H in there. Depp. 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 Johnny's depth. Johnny's girth. There. I said Johnny's depth, right? I said Johnny's depth, right? Yeah. Okay. I think I've been saying depth too. Just make sure. The next joke. day, we set up a call to get more information from Franz on her relationship with Johnny Depp. How long have you been talking to Johnny? I'm still talking to him, and we talk every day. Okay. So. Probably about now, uh, more than... Yeah, because Johnny's not busy at all. Him and Bernard are both dating you. I think, isn't Johnny's type, like, 19, 20-year-olds? Like, he's into them young. In the month. So, are Bernard and Johnny both aware that you've been talking to both of them at the same time? I said, okay, I get scammed. I don't trust nobody. I said, you have to prove me. You are Johnny Depp, or I'm going to flush you right there. Oh, Franz. Really? So you had him Photoshop, like him holding something? Oh, this is so sad. I feel bad, because she probably really believed that she was going to get some of Johnny's Depp. You know what I'm saying? Because you're lying. So he said, no, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm going to send you um, a selfie. Hold on. So I hold on about oh. a minute or two. He sent me the picture you have right now with uh, my name on it. Oh, God. I love you, France. France, France. I, don't, I can't talk today. This is ridiculous. That is so clearly photoshopped because that's like a plaque. Look at that. Come on, buddy. That's like my sexiest fat boy east of the Mississippi trophy, which happens to be right here because I found it. It is 100% not a Little League baseball trophy, and this is not a baseball bat. This just stands for a huge dong. Anybody else buy that? Friends, it's me. I'm real. He says, uh, I, where we were talking, he says, I don't want you to hurt me. So that's why he was writing promise me you won't hurt me so then after that selfie i was believing it's him this oh my god it's so sad because you can tell that something in her head just totally latched onto this fantasy that she was going to get to sleep with a pirate and she got nothing she lost a whole bunch of money for a fantasy. Look, I still buy my lottery numbers because I want to dream about winning the lottery. I ain't going to go out and buy that damn many. I ain't going all in with a hundred grand's worth of lottery because you really gambled on this one, sweetheart. This photo was the driving force behind why Franz thought she was <sighs> speaking to the real Johnny Depp. I know what you're thinking, but trust me, we see these types of photoshops all the time. It ain't even that friggin' good. Hey, Seekers! It's Virginia Bree here, your search specialist at Social Catfish. We're gonna show you guys how common it is for people to fall for these photoshopped images. Usually, a scammer is testing the waters if they send something like this or this. Bro, those are bad jobs, too. Now, the one on the right or whatever, the man at sea, uh, you can clearly tell that the head's just been slapped on him. But the guy on the left, that is the jankiest, what is it? This doesn't even look like a driver's license. It looks like Department of Defense or something. This guy's a damn war hero, so he's scamming somebody too. Typically, if someone overlooks these super obvious things in an image, they're more than likely to fall for the scam. What's your common theme with these photoshopped The head. If the quality of their head is different, different resolution than the rest of the body. If the head is bigger than the body, <laughs> like a bobblehead. head. you have some photos you'd like to show us? I do. Brace yourself. <gasps> Boom. Bro, what is going on? This looks like that meme, damn wide neck. <laughs> you get a lot of those hospital ones, huh? Absolutely. A lot. The hospital ones and uh, oil rig workers. Yeah. Yep. Do we have one of those? We sure do. You guys love a man that can work a big oil pipe, huh? Got a big old pipe wrench. Oh. 
son of a, that's so fake. After going over all the images and information Franz sent to us, we set up one last call to go over everything we had found. Brianna has pulled a bunch of information and we're so excited to reveal all of this stuff to you. Let's jump into it. Let's start with Bernard. He sent you over a bunch of information throughout the duration of your guys' relationship. One of those pieces of information being the citizen identity card. And Bro, I just, like, I know that they're going to prove to them that they're fake, but I really want to see who's behind this because that's what makes it sweet, like seeing the guy that's actually doing it. And when you find out that friggin' it wasn't no Johnny Depp, it looked more like Homer Simpson. And so our search specialist team was working on this particular form of identification. And what we found was an exact match. We found that the numbers on Bernard's ID matched the sample template. And this is kind of what alerted us that, okay, something's not right. We also looked at the name Bernard Really? You needed alerted that something wasn't right? Was there like that little smidgen of you believing that she was j dating friggin' Johnny Depp? Because I almost believed it. Like, I'm telling you, she's a good looking woman. She could get that guilt energy. You know what I'm saying? Henry Vasquez. And you can see that it's been photoshopped onto <laughs> the ID itself. It doesn't match the rest of the font. It's a lot larger. You can see the original sample template that it's been changed and altered. Are you familiar with, with Photoshop? Not at all. Bro, I'm telling you though, if people like Bernard can get 100K out here, I'm about to go freaking crazy. If I didn't have a conscience, man, I would be cleaning up. I'd be messaging these, these women. I represent Keanu Reeves. If you want to be the chosen one and get put in this matrix, he gonna put you in a chicken wing in the matrix, baby. Just join me. I need like 200K. I didn't work with that. So basically Photoshop and Canva, they are programs where you can alter a photo. The person that you're talking to that's claiming that this is Bernard took this person's ID and basically swapped it out with a photo of him. That's probably the easiest friggin' Photoshop. Now, I suck at Photoshop. The best you're gonna get from me is that thumbnail where I put friggin' like Big Ed in the middle of the, the Hobbit people of Durin, the Sons of Durin. Oh. Wow. Okay. And they used either Photoshop or Canva to do that. Let's say I'm meeting someone and I want a picture of that person. Mm hmm So if they, if they take a... Okay, if you want to date Johnny Depp, you Google Johnny Depp and you copy paste the photo. You don't have to send any money. It's free. You can even glue that thing to a pillow. You could attach a little, little Depp down below and you could go to town, baby. You could pretend. Another picture to put on. Can we detect this easily? The difference? Where is the, the change of the, the, the photo? Um, yes and no. I mean, there are times where Photoshop looks really clean and it's really hard to tell that uh, an image has been altered. Damn, that Photoshop does look better right there, but they're not trying to do anything all that crazy besides put mountains in. Like, I feel like I might even be able to pull that off. They're tampered with, but that's why we like to promote social catfishes, reverse image search. You get an image from someone, you just want to verify that it's the real thing. You go onto our site, you drop the image in, and then it'll populate. Or you could stop trying to date celebrities that you meet on friggin' WhatsApp. That might work. Results and let you know. If another ID pops up that looks just like it with a different image, you know that you're working with um, a, a fake image. Okay, thank you. Our team wasn't able to find any records on a man named Bernard Henry. All of his numbers came back as VoIP numbers with... Bro, now that I'm really thinking about it, like, if there's not a toy named Johnny's Johnny's Depp, the Black Pearl, somebody better patent that shit. That's worth millions of dollars. Women would go crazy for that. We could be rich, guys. Let's make this shit up. High fraud scores. When we ran searches on his emails, there were no records, meaning these emails had to be just created. 
I'm sorry to say, but everything that Bernard has told you is all fabricated. Brienne and her team was able to find out who the real man was in these images. His name is not Bernard. The real man in the image... Del Hole. ...is known as Matt Feast. He's a cryptocurrency coach and financial advisor. So no way. Do you think that's the real friggin' guy? Because she got the crypto. You think this guy's that hard up that he just sucks super hard so he has to, to, to like pretend to be Johnny Depp? Sorry, English is hard. So this is Matt Feast. Just to explain a little bit of what's going on here, his images have been stolen to create this fake profile under the name of... I don't buy that. I don't trust this guy. He's got major to catch a predator vibes. But also... You know, I just Googled the other day because I was curious to see, like, what that list would say in my area. There is 96 predators within five miles of me. And I figured out that the closest one is he lives directly outside of a urban air where, like, little kids are jumping on the friggin' trampoline all day. And that is so creepy because I guarantee he's, like, sitting out there sipping his coffee watching little kids. Like, it's so it. Like, he shouldn't be able to live there. Bernard. Matt Feast is a person in this case that has nothing to do with scamming you. He has no clue who you are. He has no clue that you've been scammed. He is also a victim in this story because... I don't know about that. I think Buddy might be getting a cut of this crypto hustle. You just got to find a bunch of people that want Johnny Depp. His images have been stolen and have been used. And you are not talking to Matt Feast. So this guy, the, 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 the scammer, used the picture of Matt Feast to do his stuff. Correct. Correct. So. She doesn't care. She just wants friggin' Johnny Depp. But you, you can have Bernard. Just let her have the other guy. She'll take her second best pick, Johnny Depp. You know what I mean? I feel sorry for that man, though. Don't feel bad for him. Yeah. So hopefully they, he's going to get catch. So, cross my finger. Mm -hmm. What? If you would have done something with your finger, we could have stayed out of this damn trouble. So you know what we're going to talk about next, right? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Johnny Depp. See, he just pop up now. He wants to, to, to have a chat with me. The chances of you being messaged on the internet by a celebrity is almost slim to none because he was don't say that man Katy perry fell in love with me earlier today it was amazing it was spiritual and i don't think we're ever gonna look back like we're just moving forward saying see we don't see him very often now johnny eh? he's a kind of uh you know hermit back up a little bit so that's why i was uh, chatting with him because he was telling me he's in london in a new uh, house or somewhere where he bought it and bro imagine if this chick really showed up at johnny depp's house like johnny i sent you a hundred thousand in crypto i'm gonna get me some today boy he feels lonely uh blah you know any kind of stuff like that so i start chatting a little bit more with them regarding this and uh, like i told you yesterday this guy if it wasn't me, maybe another lady, another woman, we will fall in love with her too because he's lonely. I know that you sent over the screenshot that needed to be signed by the government of Hollywood. We looked into that. The government of Hollywood? What is this crap? Like, I get that you're into pirates or whatever, but you're not going to get the peg Johnny Depp. Let's come on. No peg leg, no peg nothing. That information nowhere could we find a government of Hollywood we also did not find any record or proof that the FBI would ever sign an approval for access to an actor okay <laughs> oh god she thought Biden was signing things that said she could bow Johnny Depp oh I felt bad for you but not now you're just crazy lady you bought this fantasy hard hook line and sinker you sent over an image of Johnny Depp holding up a sign 
um, where he states that he loves you, Franz. You know, he also states, I'm real. Promise you won't hurt That two-timing piece of shit sent me the same time. Hurt me? Yeah. yeah. So we ran this image through our reverse image search tools on Social Catfish, and we found a match. So we found that this image does exist, but it has been photoshopped. We have a side-by-side -side comparison of the original image that we had found and the image that Johnny sent you. Bruh, like you really thought that piece of paper was rigid, right? That thing wasn't bending at all in the middle. He was holding that thing up and that thing was friggin' concrete. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. We sent the tracker over to Johnny Depp. Right. And he clicked on it. Oh. This person behind this fake Johnny Depp profile is in Port Harcourt. They're in Nigeria. Why is it always Nigeria? Even Katy Perry didn't message me back till it was 1 p.m. Nigerian time. Damn it. We were in love. Oh. My goodness. Both of the accounts of Bernard and Johnny led back to Nigeria. The fact that both these profiles were fake. Damn, I didn't know Johnny Depp and Bernard moved to Nigeria. Because that, it is amazing. It never fails how long the scammers will run with the lie still. Like, I flipped out on Katy Perry. It was like. I'm coming to Lagos to get you. And they're like, you're a psychopath. I am Katy Perry. They just kept going. Was rough on Franz. All she wanted to do was meet Johnny Depp. And that's what drew her into this whole scam. Are you a fan of Johnny Depp, Franz? Yes, yes. He's a really direct, he's straightforward, like me. And, um, well, actually, I discovered him when I was watching his trial. I found out, you know... You didn't know who Johnny Depp was before the trial? That's what turned you on? There wasn't no wanting Wonka's Willie, no wanting a friggin' pirate or none of that. You didn't have any kind of fantasies about that. No Edward Scissor hands, none of that. It was friggin' the Amber Heard trial that got you going? Franz, you are a wildly complicated woman. For me, before, he was just an actor like everybody else, like... Uh, Chris and Swartz and, you know, Brad Pitt. It's just an actor. <laughs> just Brad but Pitt. But after his trial, I found out the real man behind the actor. Yeah, I was, I was a fan, but now I'm, I'm more than a fan. I really appreciate him like a human being. You're turned on by litigation? What? Being. You know, not like an actor, like a yeah. human being. You're the fourth person that's come to us in the past two weeks about Johnny Depp. I would oh shit, Johnny's a slut. Just be careful with <laughs> you know anything or anyone that has any ties or says they have any ties to Johnny Depp because someone out there knows that you're a big fan of him and you're interested in his movies and, and what he's doing and they're using that to their advantage. Well wait, how did Katy Perry find me? I am not a big Katy Perry fan. I just randomly, randomly got a message, and I just ran with it. By the way, follow me on Instagram. You could see that friggin' conversation. I want so many people to see it, because it's that funny. Nicki Minaj makes an appearance, spitting in Britney Spears' mouth happens. Like, it's a wild conversation. Ah, mm. oh, okay. France has gone on to block both Bernard and Johnny. She promises to never send money to strangers online again and looks forward to verifying people she meets using our new tool. Wait, why'd you block them? You didn't know that Johnny Depp and Bernard both moved to Nigeria? What? Why are you blocking them? You were this close to having your fantasy come true. Unfrauded. If you are interested in our new AI tool, make sure you go sign up for it. We'll put the link in the description below. I, I want to say a big thank you for the team's catfish. You are so awesome. You give us, you know, more dignity because we... All right, look, you could keep your dignity if you just don't try to make like these unrealistic like matches. I understand wanting to dream like a girl can dream. 
she could dream about Johnny Depp and him slipping her or whatever all she wants. But at the same time, you, there's got to be some level of like, okay, this is unrealistic. Like, I'm sarcastic. I know I'm not actually going to get the smash Katy Perry backstage. Like, I know I'm not spitting in Britney Spears' mouth for $500. But some people just want to go crazy and they'll buy whatever somebody sells them. So just have realistic expectations. Stop being friggin' crazy. Stop looking for Wonka's Willy and the Everlasting Gobstopper on Tinder. It's not gonna happen. You're gonna find the friggin' Tinder swindler. But it's also never too late to put yourself out there so I can respect her for at least at her age trying to find love again. And it's never too late for anybody. I joke around a lot, but just stop going for friggin' like frat boys if you're in your 70s. You know what I'm saying? But alright guys, that's it man. Take her easy. If she's easy, take her twice. Peace.